Hello, welcome back. Amber Hagberg here for your morning. Let's just roll out of the bed and get onto the yoga mat. We will stay lying down on our backs the whole time because this practice is all about giving yourself permission to wake the up and feel your body with the connection to your breath. So as you're ready, grab a strap. If you don't have a strap, you can use a belt, or today I'm going to use a towel. Be creative with whatever sort of props that you have, and I'll see you on the mat. Grab your strap or whatever it is that you have, place it to one side, and I'll meet you lying down onto your back in Shavasana. Allow your heels to come out as wide as the mat, heels and toes out, arms down by your side. Close your eyes. We'll take three deep breaths together. Inhale. Exhale through your mouth. Two more. Inhale. Open mouth. Exhale. Final one. Big breath in. Exhale. Let go. Inhale. The right knee in towards your chest. Interlace your fingers around the front of your right shin. Press your shin into your hands as you straighten your arms. Press your shoulder blades and your sacrum into the earth as you breathe into your low back. Create counterbalance here to press the knee forward as you draw the knee in. And breathe into the low lumbar curve of your back. Inhale, open your arms out to the sides, palms face down. Cactus your right arm, bring your right hand up. Palm face the sky, right wrist in line with the right elbow. Bring your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Keep your right elbow and your right shoulder to the earth. Inhale, exhale, draw the right knee across your body. Anchor your right shoulder into the earth. Allow your heart to remain open as you slightly bring your chin towards your right shoulder. Look to your right. Breathe in and out of your Come back to center. Interlace your fingers to the back of the right hamstring. Straighten your right leg to the sky. Press energy up from your right heel out towards the ceiling as you flex your right toes towards your face. Keep your shoulder blades on the ground as you stretch your right hip towards the front of your mat. Create length through the sides of your body. Pull your hands onto your hamstring as you press your hamstring into your hands. My body's starting to shake a little. Yours will too if you're just waking up. Breathe into sensation that you feel. And then release your arms down to the sides, palms face up. Keep your right leg active and engaged as you slowly reach your right leg up out and away from you, stretch and lengthen your right leg all the way down towards the earth. Allow the right leg to soften into the mat and feel the length of your right side body to your left side body. Inhale the left knee in towards your chest, interlace the fingers around the front of your left shin, Switch the grip so that the opposite fingers are on top now. Allow your arms to straighten as you press your left shin into your hands. And then breathe into the low back. As you feel the body, you notice the breath. How do you feel this morning? How do you feel?
Keep your left knee where it is. Stretch your arms out like wings. Cactus your left arm. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the sky. Bring it to the outside of your left knee and exhale, twist. Left knee over towards the right. We want to make sure that the left shoulder stays onto the mat. As you take a gentle twist, bring your gaze to the left. Breathe into the low back, the outer left glute and hip. And then soften into stillness as you allow for full permission to feel. back to center. Straighten your left leg towards the sky and with the weird finger on top, interlace your finger at the belly of your left hamstring. Activate your left thigh. Press your left foot up onto the ceiling above you as you breathe into the back of your left leg. Stretch your outer left hip towards the top of your mat to create more length through the left side of your body. And again, we want to press the thigh away as we pull the leg in. Active left leg. Keep your left leg lifted. Open your arms down by your sides, palms face up, and stretch your left leg as you extend it forward. Stretch and extend. Stretch and extend until you lower your left foot to the floor and then feel the length of your legs. Inhale your knees into your chest, hands onto your shins. Right hand onto the right knee, left hand onto the left knee. And now begin to draw circles in one direction, massage the seat. Switch it, go the other way. Come back to center, hug your knees in, take a big breath in. Exhale, lift your shoulders and your head towards your knees, curl into a small little ball. Lower your shoulders and your head to the mat. Open your arms out like wings, and then cactus your arms. Press your shoulder blades and your elbows and the tops of your hands into the mat. Shift your knees so that they're directly over your hips to create nice curvature in the low lumbar spine. Big breath in. Exhale, lower both your knees together to the right. Bring your right hand to the outer edge of your left knee. Press down through your left shoulder and look to the left. Allow your heart to open towards the sky as you breathe in and out of your neck. Release your right hand back into cactus. Keep your knees touching and your toes together. Active core as you bring your knees to center. Knees over the hips. Inhale. Exhale, switch. Knees to the left. Left hand to the outer right knee as you look over your right shoulder. Emphasis that both of your shoulder blades are onto the earth. Your heart open and up towards the ceiling. We twist and bring out any stop stale energy as we prime ourselves to move throughout our day by taking this time 
making this time to feel. Notice the thoughts that are rising, the sensations that you're feeling as you bring your awareness to how it is that you woke up this morning. Practice your left arm once again, tone your core as you hug the knees and toes together, come back to center. Lower the sole of your left foot to the mat. Bend your right knee more as you bring, reach for your strap, your towel, as I have, and bring the strap or the towel to the ball of your foot as you straighten your arms, lengthen out through your right leg. Arms are straight, shoulders sacrum to the earth. Now, begin to bend your elbows as you bring your right leg in towards your body and then breathe into the back of your right leg. Option here is to extend your left leg straight. That may be too much, no worries. Keep your left foot to the floor as you move the right leg in. Find your own stretch here for Sutta Padangustasana, forehead towards the knee pose. Take a big breath in. Exhale, lift forehead towards the shin as you hug the shin and towards the forehead. Slowly release your shoulders and your head. If your left leg is straight, bend the knee, place the foot to the mat, release the towel, the strap to the side. Cross your right ankle over the top of your left thigh, figure four. Here, energetically, press your right ankle into your left thigh as you move your right knee away. This may be enough for you, and if it is, stay. If you're like, I want to feel more sensation, lift your left foot off the earth. Again, this is a place to stay, or interlace your fingers back behind the left thigh or the front of the left shin. Wherever you are, relax your left foot, Flex your right toes. Energetically move the right knee out and away from your body as you breathe. Slowly release both of your feet to the floor. Bent. We'll switch sides. Lift your left foot off the mat. Grab your towel or your strap. Place it to the ball of your left foot and straighten your arms. Flex your left toes towards your face. Extend your left heel towards the sky. Arms are straight as you press into your sacrum. Create a nice curve in the low back. As you begin to bend your elbows to your depth, bring the left shin in towards your body. Right knee can stay bent or straight in your right leg. It's totally up to you. Each side is different. And if this is the morning practice for you, be gentle with yourself as the body is just awakening. Inhale. Exhale. Forehead towards the shin. Shin towards the forehead. Breathe through the back of your left leg. Lower the shoulders and the head, hug the left knee in. Bend the right knee if it's not already, release the strap, the, the blanket, as you cross your left ankle over the top of your right thigh. Find your variation on this side. If you choose to interlace your fingers, be sure you bring the opposite finger on top. Move the left knee out and away. Relax your right foot, flex your left toes. Soften the face. Draw the awareness to the breath.
and slowly begin to release with both feet to the floor, knees over ankles. Adjust your hips so that the sacrum is balanced on the mat with knees over ankles. Bend your elbows, robot like your arms, so that the palms near one another as you press into your elbows. Press your shoulders into the ground, press your sacrum into the ground, and emphasize the curve into the back. Press through your feet and your shoulders, and on your next inhale, lift your hips up. From the roof of your mouth, stretch your hip bones towards your knees. And from the top roof of the mouth, press through the back of the head as you open through the throat, lift the chin. Bridge pose, say to Vanda Sarangasana. Slightly relax your glutes, but they're going to be passively engaged. And so what I mean by this is that you're not clenching your butt cheeks together but you're lightly surrendering the increase of your thigh. You're increasing the thighs, the strength of your legs as you soften through your glutes. Use more of your legs and your core. And as you exhale, let the hips come down. Sacrum comes down first. Heel toe the soles of your feet together. Butterfly your knees out. Place your hands onto your stomach. Close your eyes if they're not already. Supta Baddha Konasana, lying on your back, butterfly pose. Think about what you have to do today. And set a mantra for yourself. This mantra you can use with you throughout your day. If you have a busy day, perhaps your mantra is, I am productive and at ease. And if things start to build up, anxiety increases, stress rises, you come back to repeat this mantra, I am productive and at ease. Only you know what you have on your to-do list today. Create a mantra that's going to resonate, that you can call upon as you get off of your mat. The power of beginning your day with asana, with movement is you get to choose how you feel as you allow this time to prime you for your day, to let this be the start of a beautiful day. Straighten your arms, straighten your legs out, heels in, toes out, arms down by your sides, palms face up, Shavasana. Breath in, reach your arms overhead. Bend your knees and roll to the right. Knees towards your belly, right ear and your right shoulder. Bring your left hand to the mat as you walk your right hand in. And slowly find your way up into seated. If you have a cushion, you can put it underneath of you or just come to sitting. Sit off in the palms onto your knees, your thighs as you sit up, sit tall. Notice how you feel. Bring your hands to your heart and your mind's awareness. Repeat your mantra. with one final arm. Inhale. 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 
release your hands and open the light to a brand new day. Thank yourself for taking this time to feel, to digest your emotions, to create more energy in your body. And don't forget your mantra as you move throughout your day. I'll see you soon. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Namaste.